Okay, so I've been working on this mast head piece and I had to notch this top a little bit for it to fit in there. But I got the bolt holes lined up, so it should be good. I am gonna have to come back and I guess do some thickened epoxy in here to set it down on to fill this gap. So now I think I'm gonna take this mast outside and start stripping it and sanding it. Alright, so we got this mast stripped and sanded down, and it looks really good. There's not really, I haven't found any signs of rot anywhere, so I'm pretty happy with it. The only real issue is, in a couple spots, this uh, seam has opened up uh, where the mast is glued together. And I can see where the previous owner, I guess, uh, made a repair. And so it's opened back up in a few spots. Doesn't seem to be too bad. So I'm just going to come back and cut this out and um, fill this back in with some epoxy. So I got this headpiece in place. And I pressed it on to some thickened epoxy to uh, fill this gap and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it off. I coated the stainless in some oil, so hopefully I can get that off tomorrow. Alright, well I got the boat moved back outside and I scraped off all that nasty black stuff where the rub rail was. So now I'm ready to start sanding the top sides and uh, hopefully be able to get some paint on there later this week. So time to start sanding. Got both sides of the hull sanded now. It's gonna need quite a bit of fairing. So I'm probably gonna end up just kind of skim coating the whole surface. I'm gonna have to sand the old name off now, which is kind of cool and also sad at the same time, I guess. The last time that name will be on there. So, kind of a big moment, I guess.
All right, well, I finished all the sanding, and I brought it back inside, and I went ahead and got um, one coat of fairing compound on there. It's pretty rough, but I'm probably going to have to do this one or two more times. And then I'm going to have to come back and do some detail fairing in these little accent pieces. I also went ahead and um, patched over this hole. I guess the previous owner drilled and it was going up to the little pulpit or sprit that was coming out and it was just like a support cable. Looks like I got a pretty good repair here. So I'm going to sand that down and then I can start fairing that out too. I'm going to have to take this thing back outside and uh, sand down all this fairing compound so I can do the next coat. Well, I've got one side sanded. I was I was running out of steam, so I made a cup of coffee. Try to power through on the other side. It's starting to look like a boatyard around here. It's looking pretty smooth. I think all I'll have to do is come back and fill in some of the bigger gouges out in there she was pretty dinged up so I'm gonna start on the other side now sanding this side but got too late on me so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow so I can hose it down with some water before I take it back inside to do another layer Alright, I got the second coat of fairing sanded down, and I think it's good to go. I think it's ready to be painted. Um, I think I could, I'm sure I could keep fairing it for like the next two weeks and get it perfect, but it's pretty smooth, and I think it's going to be good enough for, uh, for my tastes. All right, so we got these extra special deluxe tech rags. Didn't try these out. Not supposed to leave residue. The 
This video is sponsored by Pettit Paints. I'm just kidding. Well, it's Sunday morning, and I guess this paint's pretty well cured now. Just barely managed to stay above 50 degrees here in the shop overnight. This paint is supposed to stay at least uh, 50 degrees for eight hours, I guess, to properly cure. And according to my little sensor, stayed right at 50. And it was, uh, I think it got down to like 40 last night, so that's good. We've got this primer on here and it's been curing since last night. But um, I don't know if it's because of the colder weather or what, but it doesn't really seem to be fully cured yet. I mean, it's, it's hard, but like sanding it, it's gumming up these pads, clogging them up a lot, so I think we might just need to let it cure a little bit longer. And also, that's going to be pretty chilly this next week, so probably better just to wait for a little bit warmer weather before we do the top coats anyways. So I think we'll put this on hold for now, come back to it later. So, the mast is getting really close, just need to go over it one more time with a little bit finer grit sandpaper, and um, should be able to get some varnish on it pretty soon.